Hansel and Gretel, 420 edition, by Christine Knowlton. Hansel and Gretel, wait a minute. Where's Hansel and Gretel? Ah, oh, come on, we can't do the show without them. You know what? I bet they're probably doing some weed somewhere. Probably. And that's smoking weed, you doofus. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Take two, take two. Hansel and Gretel, the 420 edition by Christine Knowlton. On the edge of a forest lived the lumberjack and his wife. Gee, I wonder which one the lumberjack is. They had two children, Hansel and Gretel. The family was very poor, and often there was not enough to eat. Can't yeah, tell me about it, right? But one evening, also if you're gonna smoke weed, you have to have the munchies. Alright, get them before you smoke, okay? It's a rule. One evening, the wife said to her husband, Tomorrow morning, we will take the children and leave them deep in the forest. They won't be able to find their way home, and we won't have to feed them. What a bitch! What the fuck? Are you serious? Take the kids to the forest? Wow. Nice parenting. The husband wailed and did not want to cooperate with the plan, but his wife finally persuaded him. That better have been one hell of a blowjob. All right, he doesn't even have a line, so I guess we know who who wears the pants in that family. Holy fuck. Now Hansel and Gretel heard this. Well, no shit, they live in a one-room shack. Of course they fucking heard it. What shall we do now, Hansel? The girl asked. Wait, little sister, I have a plan, says Hans with confidence. That wasn't with confidence. Let me try that again. Wait, little sister, I have a plan. That sounds better, right? And when his parents were asleep, he sneaked. Sneaked? Should be snuck. All right, whatever. He sneaked out of the cottage and stuffed his pockets full of white pebbles to drown himself in the river. Oh, wait, fuck. Wrong story. Wrong story. Okay, so he stuffed his pockets full of white pebbles, which apparently look like marshmallows. I don't, we'll just say fucking marshmallows. Okay, the next morning their parents did indeed take Hansel and Gretel into the forest. Actually, just their dad did. The wife was just such a dick. They walked for a long time, but Hans secretly dropped a white marshmallow every few meters. This story was definitely not set in the USA. Mm -mm. As I was saying... Now, deep in the forest, the lumberjack built a fire for his children, and he said he would come back to collect them later. Yeah, bullshit. But the day passed, and no one came back. The children finally fell asleep, and when they woke up, it was the middle of the night. Really? Really? The middle of the night? They just fucking leave them in the forest. Again, great parenting! Gretel was scared, but Hans told her about the white marshmallows. Yes, he stuffed his pockets with white marshmallows. Alright, so he took his sister by the hand, and they returned to their home early in the morning. We're going to skip that shit because we're not going to go back and forth. Okay, the little bitch makes it home, okay? His mother locks him out of the fucking house, alright? They can't go back in. They're stuck. They're in the forest forever. Forget about it, kids. You never friggin' existed in the first place. Okay. So, we're gonna skip the bread parts, Crumb, because, I mean, we already have marshmallows. Why do we need bread? So, the children wandered around the forest for hours. They were hungry and thirsty and were about to give up when they suddenly saw a very special house. The house was made of bread. Okay, here's where your fucking bread comes in, guys. We don't need too many carbs in the story. The house was made of bread, the windows of sugar, and the roof of pancakes. The children immediately started eating them. Suddenly, a voice sounded from the house. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Who is nibbling my house? And the children answered, The wind, the wind. 
Okay, they're obviously fucking high by this point. Okay, you know what? Fuck the story. Okay, fuck this story. Okay, so the witch was gonna fatten him up, right? But she only decided to fatten up Hans. Go figure, the boy. She wants boy beef, right? We're not gonna turn this into a big, giant, cannibalistic story. Like, no, fuck that. It's 420. We've gotta get the weed in there. So the witch comes out, and she's like, Yo, happy 420. Let's all light up. You can eat the house. You can eat what's inside the house. I'll make more. I'm magic. We can live together in peace and harmony. And then boom, just like that, Hans's father appears, right, with a big old fatty. He's so glad that he bought the weed, and he's so glad that he laced the children's pocket with weed, because why the fuck not, right? So they're all blazing up, and the kid's like, so dad, what the fuck happened to mom? He's like, I'm a lumberjack. I fucking killed her. By the way, I don't know why. The dad looks like Ron Jeremy, so if you're watching this and you're like, what the fuck is going on here? It is 420, guys. So figure that one out. But yeah, so okay, the lumberjack, he killed the wife. Thank God, now they have extra beef. Because apparently in that forest, they're all cannibalistic. That was a big fucking word. Yeah, so anyway. Hansel and Gretel, the witch and the dad... They all lived happily ever after, smoking blunts in the forest. It's 420, bitches. And this has been Hansel and Gretel, the 420 edition, by Christine Knowlton.